So today I'm going to show you the Supercard I.O. What you can see here is the cards. They will all get different designs. So this is, for example, the card named Forest. It is green during the game. Um, others don't have stickers so far. Over there you can see Fire, which is the red card. So this is um, how you can kind of design them. We have chosen to make a track that is a little bit inspired by a very popular game. Over here, for example, this is where you get your power-ups. So if you drive through that colored uh, lights, you will get some power-ups. And we have some props here and some modular tracks, so you can use the shorter or the longer uh, racing uh, track. But here on this there will be a trap, so sometimes it's not safe to use the shorter um, track because you will then get slowed down. So this is the castle where the start and finish line is. So you can see that over here. Uh, you can see that there is uh, um, um, lights for the start sequence. Over there you have some nice uh, stuff for the game itself. So, uh, This is the screen for the players. We're going to add another screen later to the track, which will be between these two pillars, a big uh, beamer picture. So I'm going to show you the software a bit. The software is already available in a new version. This is the uh, old one, but it shows what it can do. So you start here, then this is your second step, this is the third step, and these three things here only needs to be uh, used very rarely. So you focus on one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. It's pretty simple. This is at the moment set to German, but it can be translated to any uh, language. It is pretty easy for us to do that, so just keep that in mind. So here you choose what kind of game you want to play. At the moment it is set to a normal racing game, but there will also be other games like laser tag with the cards because they can shoot and be hit. So it's really easy for us to make a laser tag game where the amount of hits will decide who wins. This is setting the amount of laps that you have to drive so you can set that up uh, and down and you can also type in. This is the timer and this is the speed. So you can set up four different speed levels and they will uh, be yeah, telling the, 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 the cards how fast they can go at the maximum. This is the amount of hits you can set. So if you want to end the game after a certain amount of hits, you can set that here. And this is where you choose what decides. So it's time, hits, and rounds. So I will ch check rounds now. So the game is going to last after five, uh, end after five rounds, or if I set it to like time, it will last for 10 minutes. Um, I will now add cards. You will hear the sound feedback from the cards and they will now turn into their actual color before they all have been red. Now this one is green, this one is light blue, it's called air, uh, this one is water, it's dark blue, and uh, this one is still not activated, and this one is fire, and as I said, it's red. Um, so, back to the computer. Uh, they're all now set up. What you can see is here is the battery status and Fire says it has 0%, um, which is only the battery for the electronics, not the motor. So we have decided to change that here uh, to a different kind of view. So only operators will know what that means because people think that they cannot drive as fast as the others. So I will now reduce one card so it's gone 
And now I can start the game. It switches over to a new uh, screen. And as soon as I start the game, players are able to drive um, at the set speed. Then, of course, I will start the race now. Normally, music will start now. There will be a countdown and the uh, DMX controlled traffic light will tell the players that they can start now. So this one is going to, to have a function then. Um, I will show you that the cart has different functions. First of all, it has a 180 degree steering wheel, so I can drive backward with that or sideward if I want to. Um, there's the hand grip that has two functions. First of all, if I pull that back, my back wheels are loose so I can spin and also I can drift around corners. And also there's a touch function in here. As you can see, I just have to touch. There's no physical button here, so it's not wearing out. Um, so I can honk until I have picked up a power up. So I will now take a seat here and drive against the track. Um, oh, I have to turn on the motor though, otherwise it will not drive at all. So motor is turned on now. I will just head over to the location where the power-ups are. One-handed driving is not that easy. So I'm coming closer now. Over there is my question mark. And as you can see, my uh, I'm still honking, there's no light here. And if I drive under it, through the power-up, I will pick up one power-up. Now it's turned yellow, which means I can shoot now. The sounds are possible to change. If I hit somebody with these shots, he will slow down. I will now do a turn and try to get another power up it's randomized so I don't know what I'm going to pick up oh shots again I'm sorry I have to use them up in order to get something different what did I pick up this time nothing I have not been in the range uh, here we go holy shoots again. Normally there are four different power-ups, so I should be able to pick up something different. Ah, here we go. Now it's turned blue, and this means I've got shields. Now nobody can shoot me. And I'm trying to pick up something more interesting. Okay, here we go. Now this is light blue which will be rainbow later and i will activate that from outside of the car because this is something you need to see this is going to be a rainbow effect later i just want to show you what it does if i activate that it will boost my speed and give me shield and also give me that nice rainbow color effect so as long as the music lasts I'm faster and cannot be hit and this is what Super Mario Kart does. No, it's not Super Mario Kart. It's Super Kart I.O. I'm sorry. I'm just so much into the comparison and, and, and the inspiration we got from that game and I'm always mentioning it. So if people ask me what it is, I'm saying it's like Super Mario Kart in real life. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and we will be happy to help you with any information you need.